Welcome to Church Words, where we look at some of the Bible's most important words and discover their meanings. And today, we're going to look at the word sanctification. Sanctifa Huvaka? Yeah, never heard of that one. Well, it's actually a pretty important word for Christians. Well, what is it? Let's take a look. The word sanctify comes from a Latin word known as sanctus, which means holy. Holy? We already covered that word. Well, technically, you did, not me. But sanctification's definition is a little different than simply meaning holy. Sanctification means to make something or somebody holy. To make holy? What do you mean? Well, for instance, when someone believes in Jesus for the first time, God sanctifies that person, meaning he sets that person apart from the world to be holy. Every follower of Jesus has been sanctified by God, and they become God's children from that point onward. So sanctification makes us different from the world. That's right. In John chapter 17, Jesus prayed this regarding his followers. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Jesus took the time to ask God the Father to set apart everyone who would follow him in order for them to be and to accomplish all that God desired of them. Well, if I'm supposed to be sanctified, why do I still keep screwing up? Am I not a true Christian if I still sin? Now we're getting into the second form of sanctification. This form is known as progressive or experiential sanctification. This refers to the process that every Christian must go through during their life on earth. Throughout the New Testament, writers like Paul and Peter write about Christians needing to become spiritually mature. They both use the analogy of a baby who is unable to eat solid foods yet, but has to start out with milk. As they mature, they're able to eat more and more types of food that they previously couldn't before. And that sounds like it's going to take forever. Why can't I just become perfect the moment I accept Jesus? It's important to remember that when someone begins their journey with God, they're having to put their entire past of sin behind them and embrace their new, foreign one. That's going to take a lot of readjusting. While God gives us His Holy Spirit to resist temptations, God still gives us free will. He wants us to choose to love Him, and only we can make that decision. That makes sense. One thing is for certain, though. The more you put your old life to death and submit to the Holy Spirit, the more changes God will make in you. As long as we keep our eyes on Jesus Christ, we can be assured that He will make us more and more like Him day by day. Wow. I can't wait to see how God will change my life in the future. Sanctification is pretty cool. Yep, and that's a word to remember. 